superstar. He is an absolute superstar, Tom Mitchell. Chris at the back. Chris is too good. Neil, 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 yes! Oh, how good was that? All right, guys, sitting here with Josh Dunkley, the boom recruit for the Brisbane Lions, the new face of the Lions. <laughs> He's taken over from the King, Charlie Cameron, who's not too happy, but welcome, mate. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, mate. Thanks for having me on. We'll just uh, we'll talk through um, a few questions that I've got. Um, we're on ball magnets, obviously, so um, a lot of kids tuning into this, they'll love listening to what Dunks has got to say, but I'll just start off, nice, easy one. Um, Favourite player growing up for you um, in the AFL? <laughs> Yeah, so I was obviously a Swan supporter. The old man played for Sydney, so I watched a lot of Sydney's games. And uh, one for me that stands out was Adam Goods. Yeah. Goodsy was just that ultimate professional star, always stood up in the big moments. I used to love all the midfielders like Ryan O'Keefe, Jude Bolton, very honest player. So, yeah, the Brett, whole Sydney Brett midfield. Kirk? Yeah, Kirky. He was Kirky. another one. Lockdown, he, um, lockdown uh, tagger. Yeah, he coached me uh, midfield at, at Freo. Love Kirk. He learned so much from him. He's um, He was unreal for my career. Um, Sydney, so early 2000s when they were dominating, how old would you have been then? I was born in 97, so four, five, six. Yeah. That sort of period. Yeah. And then they won the two flag, oh, the one flag. One flag, they lost 05 one. Yeah, 05. Yeah, 05. And yep. lost 06. Yeah. I just, I remember those, I was like 13, I reckon those grand finals, they were just unbelievable grannies. Low scoring, but just oh, so good. Sydney West Coast. Yeah. Like some of the best games you'll ever see. Did you go to any of those games? I didn't. I remember watching it on TV back at home in, in Yarram and I cried when they lost. Yeah. And obviously was very happy when they won, but... Ball my eyes out, mate. I literally couldn't watch the end when they lost to West Coast in 06. <laughs> Those games were crazy. Um, on favourite players, so Goodsy, he's sort of he's sort of a utility, sort of mid forward, played a bit of back, ruck, didn't he? I don't know if he played much back, but on the wing, have you got favourite players, uh, like a favourite forward or, or back as well of all time? Favourite forward, well, from the Sydney era, uh, Barry Hall. Yep. Big, bad, bustling Barry. <laughs> <laughs> he was good to watch. Uh, so I'll say him for a forward. And Backman, oh, like locked down in Craig Bolton. He was, yep. a, he was a good player. Um, Leo Barry, obviously that, that Leo Barry, famous grand final mark. Um, can't go past him. So another forward I used to love too, Mickey O'Loughlin. Yeah, Mickey O. Oh, Star. Same, I don't know, it might have just been a normal season game, was it, when he kicked one at Subi and got in the face. Yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. And that big guy over the fence, so like, good. giving it to him. <laughs> Unreal. Um, just as we, as I said before, a lot of young kids um, on the app. Um, have you got any tips for sort of any aspiring mids, um, boys and girls that want to be a, a midfielder? Um, have you got a couple of tips for them yeah I mean growing up I obviously just had a ball in my hands at all, all times that I could um, and I think now the biggest thing with our game is it's so quick and you have to be so clean so continue working on all those little skills that you can um, so the touch of the footy is obviously really important but one thing I'd probably say um, for those listening out there is to just work on your opposite side I yep. feel like if you if you've got a good opposite side in handball and kicking then it'll help you get it onto the next sort of person and um yeah because we're so short of time these days i feel like you've got to be really quick with your decision making and and execution yeah absolutely I, well, that's what i always tell kids as well with the cleanliness if you can be clean like i'm not the quickest bloke out there by far um but if you're clean you just give yourself so much more time with the footy because mm. um if you fumble or um anything like that it's it's hard to get rid of it these days so you're selling yourself tip. short mate Hey. You're pretty quick. Oh, I'm quick over about two and a half metres. <laughs> <laughs> if I get out of traffic and I hold on to it too long, I'll get mowed down every time. Low centre of gravity. Yeah. It's fast, mate. You're fast. Trust oh, me. Just for a few metres. <laughs> uh, how has the move over been for you? Um, big move to Queensland. Um, weather, everything like that. How's the move been from Melbourne yeah, over to here? Yeah, I've loved it, mate. The, since, um, obviously, the trade went through, I came up here, I think it was about a week later. Um, yourself and all the other boys were so welcoming and I've just ever since then just um, never really looked back the weather's obviously great the lifestyle the fans the people can't complain at all about how it's been with the move and it is a little bit stressful at first trying to move all your your house really everything <laughs> your life um, up here but I was able to do that with my family over the sort of Christmas New Year break and yeah, ever since the start of the year it's been pretty smooth sailing which has been nice 
you've been here a few months now, so the season's uh, not far away. Uh, with your preparation for games, do you have anything that you sort of stick to every week? Oh, a few things. I like to, like as I've gone through my career, um, I think I've learned a lot about hydration and up here it's probably a big thing that you need to be on top of. Otherwise, you you go into games lightheaded and, and you probably don't perform at your best. So Our, our ears were popping a bit this, this summer, weren't they? Yeah, we it's a weird. I don't know if that's like <laughs> common. I remember I asked her. Yeah. I was like, what's going on here? My ears were going as well. It was some of the harder sessions. Our ears were, I don't know if anyone if else If it's actually a it, thing. But, yeah, yeah, I don't know. They were popping. Felt like it, well, my head was about to explode. It was crazy. But, yeah, hydration and then obviously all the, the general recovery stuff. You know, you've got to stretch, mobility, um, ice baths, nutrition, all those types of things. In terms of a routine, I probably just look to do those things as consistent as I can. Yeah. And then when game day comes around, I try and just be as relaxed as I can. And, and I don't really have many things that um, stand out too much other than up here you can get in the pool. Yeah. It's not as cold, so yeah. I'd like to get in the pool and get moving before a game. Do you, you jump in the pool pre-game? Yeah. Yeah, before you get to the ground and stuff? Yep. Yep. Yeah, I usually do that in the morning as well, go for a bit of a walk. Um, I'm just going to chuck a couple of season predictions at you. So, um, rising star. Oh, it's hard to go past Ashy or, <laughs> or Moddy. Moddy's a chance. Yeah. I'd forget about Moddy because he, he played the three games last year, so he's eligible. Yep. Yeah, that's not a bad shout. So uh, Brownlow, we don't, you don't have to pick anyone from Brizzy, by the way. All right, let's just go from no one from Brizzy. Yeah. So Rising Star, uh, is Sam Darcy eligible, Rising Star? I think so, yeah. I'm going to say someone like him. Um, Brownlow from another club, uh, Andy Brayshaw. Yep. Um, who will jump into the top four that wasn't last year? Uh, anyone or ooh. no change? So my, yeah, I don't think there'd be any change, would there? Don't what know. do you reckon? Uh, I'm asking you. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good question. Uh, I feel like Carlton could push in there. They've got a good list. Well, they uh, just missed out last year. They were very yeah. stiff. Like halfway through the year, they would have been top four, weren't they? They sort of yeah, just fell were. off a bit late. But yeah. um, yeah, I reckon, if anyone, I reckon they're, they're a chance. Yep. Hopefully, yeah. We'll see how we go. And then who are we going to play in the granny? Uh, personally, I think someone like, well, Melbourne, Geelong, Sydney, obviously the Blues, I reckon, out of those, and probably the Dogs as well. Very good. Um, have you got any weird habits on game day? We've got our mate Huey McCluggage. It's sort of not just game day, but training as well. He always clicks his fingers, so he runs around like this. If you ever get to watch him closely at training <laughs> or on game day, he runs around clicking his fingers, which is which is pretty bizarre. Uh, it's like a little tick that he's got. I um, always play with my hair and I don't know I'm doing it. So at a stoppage, I always do something with my hair. Have you got anything like that or you're pretty... No, not really. The only superstition I have would be when I put my socks on pre-game. I have the... Most people have the AFL logos facing out. I have them facing in. Always? Always. There you go. I'll and be if I, out for that now. If I get a um, like two left footers or something, yeah, it sort of... <laughs> plays in my mind a little bit. <laughs> you got to go swap with someone. Yeah, sometimes. Otherwise, I'm just like, oh, well, just deal with it. And then last question, um, you've got girlfriend plays in the netball, um, sister that plays netball as well professionally. Uh, predictions there. So I don't know if you're going to say either of their teams, but anyone uh, else. So Adelaide and Queensland, they play Adelaide for. and Queensland, yep. yep. So Adelaide Thunderbirds is tipper and Lara plays for the Queensland Firebirds. Yeah. Uh, who do I think will win the netball? I think Adelaide are actually going to be very good this year. Yeah. They recruited uh, a goal shooter from England, Eleanor Cardwell, her name is, and she's very good. She has a crack too, which is nice to see a bit of the um, dirty stuff sort of yeah, behind play. Yeah, Love <laughs> yeah that. which is good. So I reckon they'll be, they've got a star goalkeeper and now another bookend in, in Eleanor. So they're a fair chance. Um, hard to go past Perth. Um, they were very good. They won it last year. They've always yeah. been good. They've got this a Jamaican goal shooter who just dominates every week and, um, yeah, hard to go past them. So I'm going to say Perth, Adelaide, grand final. An Adelaide win? Well, for my for my sake and Tipper's sake, yes, <laughs> Adelaide win. But I think Perth will be very hard to beat. Very good. All right. Uh, hopefully everyone gets a little bit from that. Um, thanks for joining us, Dunks. Appreciate it. No worries, mate. Cheers.